This is Odin's Wolf Survival in the sunlit subterranean caverns of Wolfhaven. Today on the shield table, I have in process a sewing kit. Probably 17, 1800s type, which I'm, I was doing primitive needles and I'm gonna make some more, but these right here are all mammoth tusk, ivory, and yes, to some of you smart Alex out there, I did harvest it myself with a Clovis point. Just had it in my pocket for a while and now we're using it. Okay, to get this going, what I did is I took some suede, which I got from Hobby Lobby, and you can get them in the bags for relatively inexpensive, and if you catch them on sale, you can get a good price for it. So if you watch the bags, you can find a color you like, and then I've got some hemp cord, two different colors. All I did was knock out a piece and the ruler's here for scale so you can see. This piece here is all one piece. So you figure it is probably, what do we go? 15 inches long, 16 inches long, somewhere in there. And it's four inches wide. You can make it to whatever dimensions you like. I just folded the end over punch some holes in it, of which you can use a sharpened nail, a punch, leather hole maker, whatever you got. All you need is a even series of holes, not so even even, and just start sewing. I decided to use two different colors of the hemp just because I thought it'd look kind of cool against this color of leather. And sewed down normally, sewed back which you can use a two needle technique if you want. I didn't just cause I was doing this wherever I was at. So carrying around a stitching pony is kind of a pain in the yak. And then I'm going around it once. You can go back around it and put like an X pattern in it. I like this pattern just for the simplicity of it. I put a little piece in here and this is where you punch a couple holes where the needles will go. I'm gonna put a pocket out of the leather right here for this so we'll have these lined up like that that and that through the through the deal there are the steel needles there'll be a couple of those bigger ones in there and there'll be a, another bigger needle that I'm gonna turn into a punch or an awl to poke the holes um, I haven't dug that up you can also use something like the pricker take the point down a little bit or a big needle and I'm gonna put it in a bit of antler of which if you can't get antler n naturally out about don't know a hunter don't know you know for if you don't have a source for it that you think or you don't think you have a source for it a fairly inexpensive place is to go to Walmart or online for dog chews they have moose antler sandbar stag sometimes deer antler things along that line you can get an end of antler relatively inexpensive off there cut it off to how you want it sand it down drill you a little tiny hole in it and epoxy your needle or your awl nail whatever you're going to use in it and then set it in here which it set with the style quite nicely this is a wooden needle that i made and waxed and heated a little bit to kind of make it a little harder like i said these are ivory needles Mammoth ivory needles. I've got five of them so far. And then the pocket here is for the thread to set. And with this sewn in here, it'll keep stuff from coming out. So you have to basically fold it over backwards to get in it easily, which is a good idea. The whole thing will be rolled up and I'll sew probably a piece of hand twisted cordage and to hit this poke some holes sew it in however I decided to do it to where you can roll it up and tie it closed and that will be the kit as it sits right now and then usually people you can put a little pair of the scissors in here if you want I'm not going to because I usually have a knife on me so that works for what I usually need to do so the only thing I have to make yet is the awl or 
Actually, a friend of mine's gonna make the all, probably a, an all something along this line, but smaller. I'm hoping. <laughs> Up until then, we're gonna go with the heavy needle and antler, and I may keep them both in there because they'd be two different sizes of things. So that's pretty much what it's gonna be. Relatively easy to do, not expensive to make. You can make it full of wood needles. You can use chicken bones for needles. Um, I'm gonna hit the Ren Fair this weekend and look for some other types of small straight bones. Things along that line, see what I can find and put in here just to make something different. The idea is to do it yourself, make something different and make your own kit. That way, when you have to, you know how. So, this is Odin's Wolf Survival. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, and share. Helps me out with YouTube as they were playing games for a while. And now we're finally back to where we're growing again. And thank you very much for that because without people watching, this would go nowhere. So thank you very much and have a glorious day.